To start, you're gonna need a serger and we're using a Babylock 1034D and also just a regular domestic sewing machine and this is a Singer Heavy Duty. And the links for these machines will be in the description. You'll need fabric and you can use pretty much any stretchy fabric. We're gonna be using a t-shirt knit and just a regular sweater knit. Pretty much any stretchy thin fabric will work perfect because you want it thin enough to stretch over your head for all the uses. You can use any eyelets of your choice and we're gonna be using 5 16 then print your pattern off from properfitclothing.com. The link will be in the description. Cut it out on the outside of the black line and then go ahead and tape it together. So we're going to be using two different fabrics. So go ahead and place your hood panel on your fabric and cut out two. And if you're using all the same fabric, go ahead and cut out four. Then go ahead and do the same thing for the scarf pattern. So in the end, you should end up with four of each, four hood panels and four scarf panels. Next, go ahead and take your scarf panels, one of each, place right sides together, and you're just gonna sew the long edges. Do not sew the top or the bottom edge. And we're gonna be using a serger since it's knitwear, but if you don't have a serger, go ahead and use a zigzag stitch because you're gonna want it to stretch with the fabric. And again, only sew the long edges. And then go ahead and do this for both scarf panels. Then once you have both done, go ahead and pull one right side out. You're going to be placing that right side out panel on the inside of the other panel so that the right sides are together. and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and line up the bottom edges. And an easy way to do this is just lining up the seams. And once you have those lined up, go ahead and serge all the way around that circle. And again, if you don't have a serger, go ahead and use a zigzag stitch. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pull it right side out. And you're gonna end up with one long scarf and this is gonna be the infinity part of your hood, which will wrap around your head. Then we're gonna go ahead and assemble the hood. So go ahead and place right sides together. And if you are using two different fabrics like we are, be sure you're using the same fabric. And you're gonna go ahead and sew just that back edge. And then go ahead and do the same thing for the other hood panel. So just that back edge. Now with both hood panels done, go ahead and flip them right side out and then place the right sides together, lining up the top and bottom seams. and you're gonna be sewing along that entire front edge. And we like to start at the middle so that way it's lined up. So start at the middle, go down to one edge and then flip it around and sew the other edge.
Once you have the whole front edge sewn, go ahead, flip the right side out. And then while you're in this state of the hood, we're going to add the eyelet. And you're going to want to add the eyelet far enough from the bottom and then not too far from the side. Just make sure you give yourself enough space so that way you can sew the bottom. Once you have your mark, go ahead and cut a hole, place your eyelet in it, and then go ahead and install. And we're using just a basic hammer die, and you can find these at pretty much any hobby store, but we're going to be offering a link in the description, so go ahead and check that out. And again, I also recommend using a little bit bigger of an eyelet. It just looks a little bit cooler, and also it's easier to thread your cord through at the end. And then once you have one in, you can go ahead and line up both panels and feel out where you want the other one to be. Or you can go ahead and measure out exactly where the other one should line up. Then mark, cut, and install. Next, we're going to be adding on the scarf, so go ahead and flip your hood inside out. Once it's all nice and flat, go ahead and grab your scarf panel and you're going to be putting that on the inside of the hood. You're going to want to line up the right sides together and then all the way towards the edge. And we're just going to be sewing one edge at a time because you're going to be leaving a little gap at the back so you can pull the right side back out. Just make sure it's all nice and lined up and flat because you don't want it to fold over on itself while you're sewing it. So go ahead and start at the front of the hood and sew towards the back and end about an inch and a half from the middle seam. Then you're going to want to go ahead and grab the scarf and bring the other end around to the other side of the hood. Make sure you're keeping it straight around that top part of the hood and then line it up just like you did on the other edge. Nice and up towards the front and flat. We pulled ours all out to make sure it's nice and flat so that way it's not twisted when we pull it right side out through that hole. And then again, starting at the front, go ahead and sew towards that back seam, but don't sew all the way through. Leave that little hole. Now go ahead and pull the right sides out through that little hole. The next step will be to seal off that little hole and all you have to do is fold over the right sides in on itself and then do a straight stitch. And this will just be a basic top stitch on that edge. And I recommend using the same color thread so that way it blends in. And then next we're going to be doing a top stitch so that way that cord has a guide. We're just going to be doing a top stitch all the way across that front edge on the outside of the eyelet. Then go ahead and take that cord and I recommend using a safety pin and then feed it all the way through that guide. And there you have it, your Infinity Hoodie Scarf is done. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you think. If you have any other ideas for a video, be sure to send them our way. We'll try to make it happen for you. Until then, we're going to keep the videos coming at you, and we'll see you next time.